Hi there, and welcome to Cybercrimes. Cybercrimes is the most prominent uh, crime right now there is out there, aside from murder and uh, rape. Um, this crime is oftentimes anonymous, and it's oftentimes uh, the main goal is to get money or to get identities so they can get money. So, uh, cybercrime is defined as uh, using a computer and a network to commit a crime. So there's three types of criminal activities. Uh, computer integrity crimes, which is where the computer is being violated to gain access to money. So they put a virus in, they hack it, okay? They send a phishing email or link in order to get information from it. Computer assisted crimes, which is stuff like money laundering or fraud or um, stuff like that. And then computer content crimes, which is where you deal with child porn, terrorism, uh, and the dark web, for instance. So identity theft is one of the biggest issues out there. Uh, it was reported in 2014 that 12 million, 12 million people in the United States had their identity stolen uh, or compromised. So this falls into the computer integrity crime category. Um, it happens because companies or people will throw out their data without taking out information. So companies will toss out a bunch of application forms without shredding them or blacking out people's social security numbers. Uh, or people will throw out their information without blacking out or um, redacting their personal information. Uh, they can also get it by phishing, which is where they'll send an email that says, hey, you know, um, we need you to click this link to verify your identity and to verify your information. Um, companies won't do this, okay? Um, not out of the blue. Like oftentimes, like if you are updating a profile or updating a password, they will send you an email right away asking you to verify that you are the one updating the email or updating the profile. Um, but if it's just an email out of the blue asking for information, that's not a real one. Uh, spyware is where they'll actually put malware or spyware on your uh, device so they can get your passwords or they can get other critical information. And then buying items on unsecured networks, which is, we're all guilty of this. We've all bought stuff on the internet at two in the morning because we're tired and we are sleep deprived and we're surfing the internet because we want to go to sleep, but we can't. And we end up pressing that link and, uh, you know, buying something. Uh, I personally have had my credit card number stolen countless times. Um, I've had my data breached because I shopped at Target or I shopped at Walmart and they got their systems hacked. So almost everybody on the planet has had something uh, stolen as far as credit card or identity goes. Uh, when they're investigating cyber crimes, they'll actually go in and collect the hard, like the hardware. So any devices, iPads, computer towers, laptops, any of that. Uh, and the evidence has to be processed and analyzed. Uh, they have to analyze it to make sure that there's been no changes to the original data. So that there's no been no um, obliterations where they try to erase it or um, installing uh, viruses to try and systematically take out the information that's on there. So the, um, the stuff they collect can be put into three categories. So the hardware, which is the actual stuff associated with the laptop itself or with the computer itself, uh, the device. Removable storage, so zip disks, CDs, USB drives, stuff like that. Uh, and then documents, so anything that was handwritten that has passwords or email addresses or notes about something will also be collected at the same time. So essentially everything on your desk is what it boils down to. Uh, money, money laundering is one of the computer assisted crimes. Uh, it has three steps that is involved. So the placement, so collecting the dirty money and placing the dirty money into the financial system. Layering, which is where they disguise the money. So it goes into the bank and now it's disguised as being something else. Uh, and then integration, which is where they will actually start combining criminal money with legitimate money. So they start buying real estate. They start buying gems, art, jewelry, houses, planes, you name it. That's how they get it through. 
Uh, terrorism is another one. Uh, it targets three main audiences on the internet. So current and potentially new members. So they try to uh, indoctr indoctrinate new people and also keep their current people um, together. Uh, public opinion on an international scale. Uh, and then public attack of their enemy. Um, so they will actually go through and try and give information uh, or say, like, we committed this crime. So, like, every time there's something big that happens, uh, terrorist organizations will come out of the woodworks and announce on their websites or in their media that they have been the one to perform this attack. Uh, ISIS always goes in and claims almost everything that is involved with uh, Muslims attacking Christians or non-Christians, non-Muslims. Um, but this falls into the com uh, computer content crime. So along with like pornography and that stuff. So this falls into that same category because it's the content that's on the internet. It's not using the device to do something and it's not using um, the device to move money. Uh, it's using content on the internet to try and produce more terrorists. Uh, intellectual property, theft, and piracy, which almost everybody is guilty of. Um, this is robbing people and businesses of their ideas, their inventions, or their creative expressions. Uh, the top three most pirated media things are movies, porn, and TV shows. We've all downloaded a movie or a TV show to watch at a later time. We've pirated it off of uh, YouTube or any other internet website out there. Um, it's reported that about 24% of the internet bandwidth is taken up by pirated material. So movies, TV shows, all of that. Uh, and that's actually robbing the people, the artists that uh, created it, and also the people that worked on it. So uh, social media scams is another one. Uh, we've all fallen prey to this as well. Uh, fake offers, so you join to get free material. Uh, like jacking, which is where they will have a fake like button, and when you press that fake like button, it'll install malware on your device. Uh, fake plugins, so that they download fake browser extensions to yours to try and pirate your information. Uh, fake apps, which is also used to steal information, and then manual sharing, so tricking the user into sharing fake offers or videos or messages with friends to get more people clicking on that link so that they can get more people uh, to give up their information. <coughs> Excuse me. So in order to protect yourself from cybercrime, uh, there's a couple things that you need to do. First off, never open files from strangers. It's just like taking candy from strangers. You don't want to do it. It's not going to end in a good idea. Uh, never respond to requests for personal information. Just delete the message. Don't click on the link. Uh, make sure you use a secure website to shop or bank online. So a secure website has a S at the end of it. So HTTPS means that it's a secure line. Uh, do not send your personal information on a public wireless network. So don't send out credit card numbers or that stuff on public networks. So like if you're on public Wi-Fi, don't do it. Uh, use antivirus and anti-spyware uh, software to help make sure that your device stays clean. Uh, and if you add a firewall, it'll also help to ensure that your device stays clean. Uh, use a strong password and never share it. So passwords like 1234, uh, not the best idea. You always want to have number, uppercase, lowercase, and a symbol in your password. Uh, make sure you use the security settings, so make sure you actually have your security updated. Uh, make sure it's actually working. And then finally, do not post too much information about yourself on social media sites. This is very hard because social media creates that environment where people want to share, but it can also mean that people can steal your identity that way. So thank you for listening and talk to you soon. Bye.